Before we begin today's video, I'd just like to remind folks that I have a Twitch channel. I usually stream live Q&As, quizzes, let's plays, and much more. So feel free to follow me on Twitch to be notified about every single stream I do. Howdy folks, Jabariki here. Sony Animation is a studio that's had its ups and downs over the years, but it's recently found its own renaissance with films like Into the Spider-Verse and The Mitchells vs. The Machines. However, people seem to forget that Sony Animation have also produced many of their own short films. And in this video, I'm going to count down my personal top 5 favourites. Let's go! Number 5. Monster Pets In this Hotel Transylvania short, Drac is too busy to play with Tinkles the giant dog, so he tries to find Tinkles another pet to play with. The fun of this cartoon is seeing all the different monster pets that exist in this universe. We meet one after another, each with their very own distinct design and spooky appeal. There's so many that kids are bound to find their own favourite. The cartoon is also a great showcase for one of Drac's best character traits too. That being a determination to solve things. He sees a problem in his hotel, comes up with a fix, and keeps trying to make it work until everyone is happy. The pet that ends up fitting Tinkles isn't just a surprise because it's a cat, but it's also a really cool cat. A telekinetic feline from ancient Egyptian mythology. Seeing this giant dog and magic cat becoming friends is a really sweet conclusion. Number 4. Super Manny this Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too short follows Manny the cameraman who is being called by Sam Sparks to help report something urgent. But on his car journey to Sam, Manny has to rescue a kitty from danger. Now, Manny is a fan favourite because of his running joke that he's a jack of all trades, and giving him his own cartoon was a great idea. While I know that some will argue that Manny is a walking Deus Ex Machina because he has a licence for every job, but I think that misses the point entirely. Yes, Manny can do anything at all, but it's how he uses each of his trained talents to his advantage. Showing one of his licenses is only one part of his heroism. He still has to put each specific job into action to save the kitten. The fact that the kitten keeps walking into danger isn't just funny in a dark sort of way, but also gives the cartoon an engaging momentum, turning Manny's drive to work into an action rescue mission. I think the best thing about Manny is that he proves that you don't have to be good at just one thing. You can learn lots and lots of skills and try out different kinds of careers, which can make you versatile against life's challenges. Oh and yes, the kitten in this short is very, very cute. <laughs> Number 3. So You Want to Be a Pirate This cartoon is a spin-off from Ardman's Pirates. It's basically a lesson in pirating from the pirate captain himself, as he teaches the ins and outs of buccaneering. What makes this short unique is that it goes for a variety show structure. There's educational demonstrations, guest interviews, a cooking segment, musical songs, and much more. It's over 15 minutes long, so there's a lot of content and material, which means that even if one sketch doesn't make you laugh or entertain you, it doesn't matter because there's loads of other segments in the show to look forward to. Then carefully prepare the lemon by slicing it into two and stuffing it into the creature's hideous gaping maw. Each sketch is just the right length too. The show knows when it's time to end a gag or lesson and move on to something else. So nothing drags on and there's a constant rhythmic pace. Well, you know, really, I just enjoy the shouting. Well, I, I can tell you, you're very good at it. And do you, do you uh, perhaps have a favorite thing you like to shout? Big barnacles. Big oh. barnacles! I can shout that all day! Big barnacles! <laughs> if you really enjoyed Ardman's Pirates, then this cartoon is a terrific bonus treat for you. A sweet custard cream to dip into your coffee. <laughs> Number 2. Spider Ham in Caught in a Ham this is an animated short that serves as a prequel to Into the Spider-Verse. I really like Spider-Ham's character in Into the Spider-Verse. His wisecracking dialogue was charming, and he showed that Silly could be badass. It makes complete sense that he was given his own cartoon spin-off short. What makes Caught in a Ham endearing is the fact that it's a love letter to classic cartoons. It's a deeply affectionate celebration of Hanna-Barbera and Looney Tunes shorts that pays a flattering tribute to all the tropes you'd expect from Bugs Bunny or Scooby-Doo. At the same time, it's still going for its own thing, relying heavily on the appeal of Spider-Ham's dry sense of humour and ability to outweigh villains with his natural cunning. It's a short that somehow combines Chuck Jones-style comedy with Marvel superhero lore and makes it work really well. 
You won't get away with this. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, you won't. 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 Oh, yes, I will. And if you'll excuse me, I've got a hot dog to eat. Seeing how Spider-Ham was transported away is a really fun ending too. A hilarious homage to the iconic Daffy Duck cartoon Duck and Mug with a modern digital spin. Hey, I'm standing here. Didn't you tell your experiments that it's rude to point Dr. Ding Dong? Whoa! Ow! 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 ow. Hey, guys! Calibrate your screen every now and then. Wow! Wow! Ow! My outlines! My outlines! My outline! Wow! <laughs> oh, okay, nobody look. I freaking loved this cartoon, and I hope we get more Spine to Ham shorts in the future. Before I reveal my number one pick, I'd just like to remind folks to consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to click that notification bell. Thank you. Number one, Hair Love. This beautiful Oscar-winning short is about an African-American father helping his daughter do her hair, but he struggles to pull off her chosen hairstyle, much to his little girl's disappointment. Hair Love was applauded by black audiences for exploring hair diversity, giving black women in particular a lot to resonate with in terms of self-care and hairstyling. The little girl's hair is part of her identity. She's rightfully proud of it and wants to shape it in a special way. You see, the YouTube tutorial she's following is being hosted by none other than her mum, which inspires her dad to try even harder, now knowing why this specific hairstyle means a lot to his daughter. The way this short demonstrates black hairstyling is pure cinema. It's a sequence that's bursting with pride and love for Afro girls, while also inspiring black girls to see what they can do with their gorgeous natural hair. What I personally resonate with though is the paternal side of the cartoon. I really want to be a dad one day myself, and sometimes I worry how I'll handle taking care of a daughter's hair. But this animated father is the perfect role model for dads everywhere. Fortunately, the mum is still alive. She's just finished battling cancer at hospital and ready to go home. It's such a perfect ending. The mother is delighted to be with her family again. The dad is adorably romantic and flirty with his wife. And the daughter shows her mum a painting she's done of her that helps her love herself after having chemo, solidifying the cartoon's wonderful message that black is beautiful. Hair Love is a gorgeous and heartwarming short that celebrates black hair with authentic passion, while also encouraging fathers everywhere to do their best when styling their daughter's hair. So those are my top 5 favourite Sony Animation shorts. If you liked this video, then don't forget to click the like button. Oh, and what are your top 5 favourites? Let everyone know in the comments below. Cheerio, folks!